we love simple stories. We crave that one moment, that one decision, that one reason behind what's happened. It's how most success and fail stories are told. It's also how we get manipulated. And the most dangerous lies aren't the ones they sell us. They are the ones we tell ourselves because they feel clean. She got rich because of one idea. It failed because of that. That company collapsed because of one bad executive. We hear it, we know it, and we move on. But if we zoom out, none of it holds up. And the reason why is hardwired into your brain. Welcome to the Mental Models Explain series where we unfold the hidden patterns shaping how we think, decide, succeed and fail. And today we are starting with the one of the deepest, linear causality. We evolved in a world that demanded speed, not complexity. When we heard a rustle in the grass, we didn't analyze the ecosystem, we simply ran. One sound, one predator, one action, that's how we survived. And over time, our brains became pattern-seeking machines, not just any patterns, linear, simple patterns. A leads to B, one cause, one effect. And even though we built a complex world our ancestors couldn't imagine, that wiring didn't vanish. It followed us into this modern world, into how we read the news, how we decide, how we explain our careers, our successes, even how we blame ourselves for our failures. Why didn't I succeed that interview? Must have been that one thing I said. Why did they win? Must have been the timing. Why is the world broken? Must be the politicians. We default to single causes. Success, failure, progress, collapse, they rarely have single causes. They are the outcomes of systems. Feedback loops, timing, privilege, countless invisible decisions, luck, culture, compounding pressures, you name it. If we want to understand reality, we need to start noticing the moments we flatten. So how to spot these moments? There are three common patterns of linear causality manipulation. They are the phrase trap, the hero villain framing and offering oversimplified solutions. The phrase trap is simple because of X, Y happened. Anytime we say or we are told that with total confidence, please pause and ask what else could be at play? What else contributed? The second one, hero villain framing. For example, that politician saved the country. He is successful because he wakes up at 5 a.m. every day. These are comforting stories, but they almost always raise deeper truths like heroic habit meet overlooks resources, opportunity, emotional support, and deeper strategy. Or the great politician meet ignore the role of global trends, previous policies, collective governance, institutional support, etc. When you saw or heard these sort of sentences, remind yourself this is a hero villain framing. The last one is oversimplified solutions. If something claims to solve a big problem with one step, just question it. Become rich with this one trick or get in shape with this one pill or be the most smart person in the room with this app. You are exposed countless of them every day at every scroll. Linear stories, linear solutions, snake oils. Beware of them. So how do we break the curse? As a matter of fact, there is nothing wrong with linear causality mental model. We need it in situations that calls for emergency and requires quick actions for survival. But we built a pretty safe world for ourselves and we are no longer exposed to immediate threats every day. However, when we apply survival shortcuts to complex world, we oversimplify, misjudge and make mistakes. And that's when a useful instinct becomes a dangerous habit. The only way to break this curse is shifting how we ask questions. Instead of asking what caused this, ask what systems produced this. Because the world we live in composed of countless systems interacting with each other. No one thing stands alone in this world. And we don't have to do it alone. Use AI as a thinking partner. Literally ask it. What are the non-obvious variables contributing to this event? What feedback loops or hidden dynamics can I be missing? AI isn't wired for clean field with stories like we are. It has own biases, yes, sure, but it handles complexity better than we do. 
and here I give you two prompts. The first one helps you to judge your own limit causality and the second one helps you to judge what you are exposed to. You can find them below the description if you want to copy. The more we reflect like this, the more we train ourselves to resist simple stories and see systems instead that's when real clarity begins let's stop chasing the perfect story and start understanding the messy system behind it because once we do we stop falling for the lie and start thinking clearly again even this video itself is a product of linear causality. I walked you through a clean narrative that made it feel like this is the one and only mental model behind the bad judgment but the truth is, no single mental model explains it all. Behind every story, there is a web of mental models shaping what we see. And that's why we are unpacking them one by one in this series. And if this made something click for you, you will also love the rest of my system thinking series here on the channel. We are unfolding the hidden mental models behind success, burnout, the world itself and modern life. Check it out below in the description and keep thinking in systems until next time take care